Well on track. The EP. That title holds a lot of weight, almost contradicts itself if you're not careful. For those that stumbled upon the video or are barely hearing about my music, welcome. For those that have been doing it since the Nuni and Nicho days, thank you. It feels like last week I was walking the stage, shaking hands with Dr. Nielsen, receiving my degree. I didn't know what exactly was next, and I'm sure most grads don't. But I did know that music was, and is, what I wanted to do. I quickly realized money was not going to keep coming in my account every few months, Pell grants and such, college people know what I'm talking about, and I was going to have to make something work. After a few semi-successful attempts at promoting clubs, shirt sales, and hosting shows, I realized to make something work, I was going to have to do just that, work. So there I went, out of state to Kansas on my first shutdown, didn't have a clue what I was getting into. But I worked as hard as I could and I followed my uncle's every direction. I was supposed to go for only one job, maybe two, come back, make some money, and keep funding my music dream. That was fall of 2011. It's now fall of 2015 and refineries are still my main source of income. Money is a drug, especially large amounts of it in a relatively short amount of time. I've done shows with thousands of people in the crowd. I've done shows where no one wanted to see a show. I've sold CDs, released free music. I've tried different competitions, been signed once or twice. I've been scammed for money. I've done more in trying to make this dream work than you could probably ever imagine. Since I was 12, I've been the guy that raps. I've tried doing the radio thing, but the music was always forced, in my opinion. The last three projects I've put together, The Graduate, Soon Enough, and Shouldn't Be Local, have been glimpses of real life with a song or two forced in there for the radio crowd. This EP is different. The beats are mine and the music is what I felt and not what the radio would like. Ironically enough, when I stopped trying to make a radio record is when I landed my biggest accomplishment to date. My G-Mix to Taylor Swift, Shake It Off. Go Shake It Off, mm -hmm. correct, which is correct. a hit now. It's a jam, it's a banger, isn't it? And I believe you are definitely making it an even bigger one. Taylor Swift, New Division, the G-Mix version, right here on 107.9. Mix up at... Never miss a beat, baby, lead that up to me Noon the main be that rapper all the mothers wanna be Cause I'm not a wannabe, you spit officially Some of you may have heard it, some of you may have not If you see my YouTube channel, <laughs> pretty proud of it That happened in 2014 It's been a year since that And even though they're still playing it till this day on 107.9 I'm still trying to follow that up If his CP won't have any radio records It's not a turn up album It's just what I consider to be good, relatable music it's been a ride. Are we scripted now? Huh? Season 5, are we scripted? No, oh, we're three, not. Two, we're, 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 we're ride in 5. And we're back. Um, we're having a photo shoot, and Julie and I, or Damage and I, I'm sorry. Y'all know I'm as Damage. I don't know why I let him go first, because now I'm going to have to reach his level of excellence, and I, I fall underneath it somehow. <laughs> That's my favorite too, right there, nigga. <laughs> Well, you can't I've traveled the states, earned money, devoted time, produced at the very least a very vivid diary of my 20s. If you're still listening, thank you. A stray well on track. Feel the vibe. 